Hi Dress So Cutie, Swainy here. Today we're going to be talking about all the materials I use to bring my Dress So Cute drawings to life for you. Well, kind of all of them, not the digital stuff, not the cameras or the computer, all of that stuff, just the traditional things. So um, before we get started, I wanted to thank you um, cuties for all the comments and questions over the years wanting to know uh, what materials I use and so hopefully after today's video um, you'll get a better sense of um, what I do, how I do it and hopefully that will inspire you and help you make the choices when you go to buy your materials. So I think the most obvious thing I should show you first is the Sharpie. Um, this is what I use to draw all my draw circuit drawings and I have a video, check out the link above. I did make a video as to why I use a Sharpie for my drawings. So if you want more details, just check out that video. But um, long story short, it's just cheaper and reliable. And so I'm showing you these two because this is the one I always use. And then um, there's a thinner version. So sometimes when there's uh, little details I need to draw, I might use a thin one and um, I just wanted to show you this. <laughs> this is my bucket of Sharpies. This is constantly being filled because the Sharpie after a while it will get duller and it won't work for the drawings I need to do for you because um, I just want my drawings to be a little bit crispy, crisper when I show them to you. So I always have a lot of U Sharpies um, that are not good enough for what I do after a while but they're still really good. So what I do with these is after a while when I have a bunch of them collected I donate them to the schools um, whoever, whichever teacher might want need them so I'm grateful at least I'm not throwing them out. And um, so now that we have the sharpie uh, out of the way the next thing I guess I should talk about is paper. So this right here is the uh, marker paper that I use. So when you watch me drawing on the video, I'm actually drawing on marker paper. And this right here is your basic eight and a half by 11 uh, Xerox paper right here. And the reason I don't use this is because um, with marker paper, it's much smoother. And so um, when I'm using the Sharpie to draw on, I don't have to worry about the Sharpie. It might not, in case it bleeds or like it might catch the paper, but with marker paper, it's just so much smoother. And so that's why I use marker paper um, to, to, draw the vid uh, to draw my drawings on. So this brand that I'm using right here, they have different sizes, but there's no real reason as to why I'm using this one. It's just, it's cheaper. Um, for me, everything is about just buying something that is um, not too expensive and it's just good enough because for what I do, I don't need anything um, too amazing <laughs> or, or expensive, I mean. So it's just what is reasonable price and it works. So this is what I've been using. And like I said, they have smaller sizes and bigger sizes. And so with all the materials that I'm showing you today, if you're interested, I have some Amazon affiliate links below. But like I said, um, Long, uh, just to put it bluntly, I don't really care what I use. It's more about the price. <laughs> so, okay, so marker paper and Xerox paper, that's the papers I use. And then in terms of, um, before I bring my drawings to you, I actually do a lot of sketching. And so this is the sketchbook that I use. And once again, um, no real reason why I use this brand or this one. It's just the size is kind of perfect. I can always kind of take it with me if I'm going out and I know I have some free time where I'm just going to be sitting around. And so this is just really nice because it's, it's pretty compact. And um, what's also nice about it is it's pretty cheap. It comes in like packs of three or things like that. And the other thing is is perforated. So if you ever need to, you can tear it out. Um, and also there's another right here. You can just tear it out. Wait, let me show you. Oops. There, this is what I meant. You can tear this part out right here so that it's a nice clean sheet of paper as well. And um, it has enough uh, grit on the paper where your pencil, um, if you want to do like a nice sketching, it would work totally fine as well. And so that's why I use this for um, just a little sketchbook because I like to just sketch everything I do first just to make sure I know what I want to, how I want to draw it because I try to make my drawings a little bit more my own, a little bit. <laughs> so um, that's why I always sketch first. And so um, now that I'm done with the sketchbook, all the paper is done. Let's talk about um, pencils. Okay, here. 
So this is the pencil, oops, pencil that I use. I just like using mechanical pencils because I don't have to worry about sharpening or the pencil getting dull. And that's the only reason. This one seems to be pretty reliable and I've been getting these at Costco, I, I think. They're much cheaper at Costco, like a big bulk of them. And then um, whiteout pen, uh, once again, uh, I just found these on Amazon. This one right here is a, a Signal Uniball. This one seems to be working fine because it has enough detail and it's juicy enough where the white ink comes out um, enough that uh, it's been pretty reliable. But like I said, everything I use and buy, I just buy what is just cheapest <laughs> and good enough. And um, let's see here. The other thing we can talk about is color pencils. So there's two kinds that I do use. So right here is, um, this is the Crayola. This is your, wait, hold on, no, sorry. This is Crayola right here. So, and then these are, I'm sorry, I should have looked at this more. This is called Prismacolor color pencil, and these are the Crayola. So the difference between Prismacolor is it's a little bit more professional. Um, the reason is because they're more expensive. And the reason they're more expensive is because the color on them is the, the color pencil is waxier. So when you um, color with these, the color is more saturated and you can get a really smooth, deep color. And whereas with the Crayolas, they're drier, I guess you would say. <laughs> and uh, so that's the difference. But I guess it just depends on what you need to do. If you really want to go all out, these are really nice Prismacolor pencils. I've always loved these because they're nice and soft and you can really get in some really saturated color with them. And But Crayola is nice as well, right? Nice and cheap. And um, as for markers, um, I've kind of experimented a little bit, um, but not too much because I'm not really an illustrator. So I just like, I like, again, sorry if I keep repeating myself, I just buy what I need without having to spend too much money. So I love Crayolas cause they're cheap <laughs> and I, I seem to have like all different kinds. I have, um, Let's see here. These are the small little pip squeaks. These are your regular ones that you always see. This is like a Target brand. They have an even smaller one right here. So you can see the difference in size. And then they have these longer, thinner ones. So this is like a really sharp um, tip. I'm definitely gonna make another video just talking about markers because there's a lot of details I can talk to you about. But these are just a little bit thicker and juicier right here and the reason i love crayola once again not only because it's cheap but because it doesn't smear the sharpie so like when i uh, draw on the marker paper or any paper and i can i can totally go over the lines of the sharpie with these crayola markers and the um, sharpie will not smear uh, because these are water-based whereas if you use alcohol markers you might have to wait for the um sharpie marker to the ink to dry for a long time or it might just make the sharpie a smear or uh, it's just a big pain in the butt <laughs> so that's why i like to use uh, crayolas when i can um, other than that let's get into alcohol markers so here are the three kinds and these right here are called prisma colors these i've had for millions of years <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are so old, but they still work. It's pretty amazing because uh, they're alcohol markers. And as long as you keep them um, in a nice, cool place, they, they they can last you forever, basically. And what's cool about these, they don't make these anymore like this. I'm pretty sure they have their own version now, but it has this thicker tip on this side. And I even had some before that were like really toxic. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have that with me right now to show you, but they have an even thinner tip right here, if you can see that. And then there's another tip. So there's three tips right here, and then there's another one right here. So that's kind of cool about these Prismacolor pencil uh, markers. And then um, you have these that I've been trying out. Um, this is what you've been seeing me using to color um, these days. It's the Ohuhu brand. Um, I'm. The only reason I'm picking 
using these is because they're cheap once again and because I love the brush tip. Um, I love using brush tips with markers because it's just so soft <laughs> and I feel like I have more control when I'm coloring and so that's the only reason why I've been uh, I bought a pack of these Ohuhu to try and like I said I'll make another video on these and Copic markers and the, the pros and cons but these have been okay so far and of course you have your Copic markers right here which are very very expensive <laughs> so these are probably like oh gosh i don't know i forgot how much they were but compared to these these are just like crazy like a ferrari compared to like a toyota or something like that <laughs> but these are so expensive and i don't even have the most expensive copic um this is the cheapest version and then this is the second one and there's another one which is the white one it's so pretty but i like i said i'm not a illustrator i'm i don't need to produce professionally beautiful pieces of art and so i don't feel like it's worth it for me right now to invest that kind of money in these markers um so like i said copics are really nice if you can afford them um, because they have that brush tip and they're refillable and they're just so pretty and their brand name <laughs> but like i said that's why i went with these right here and i'll be trying other brands um, that have the brush tip as well to see which ones might be better um, for what i do because um, these alcohol markers they're just so annoying is because they do tend to bleed the Sharpie. And so that's why when you color on a Xerox paper, like a printout, it actually works fine. So it won't bleed the printout. So that's what I've been doing lately. Um, but other than that, um, markers all done. The last thing is maybe if you're interested, you could get like a circle template. This is like a million, year, million years old as well. So I don't know what they have out there, but these are nice to have because whenever you just, you know, need a perfect circle. <laughs> it's nice and handy. Oh no, and I forgot one of the big things I wanted to show you. Okay, gotta cut this in. Um, this is a kneaded eraser right here. Hopefully you can see it. Um, I'm not sure if there's other brands, but this is what I like to use um, when I'm erasing. Um, it's basically like a piece of rubber that what's really cool about it is uh, you can stretch it like it's like a piece of gum you can play around with it and so when you go to erase um, what happens is you won't get a lot you won't get those uh, eraser poop <laughs> whatever I forgot what you call them um, that makes a mess everywhere and you have to like brush it off this basically just eats the um, the pencil and then um, when it gets really dark and gross you just uh, do this. You just kind of massage it and uh, play around with it and then it's all good again basically. So it becomes, it's, first it's kind of hard like this and then you just keep massaging it and it gets nice and soft and dark. And so this is called the kneaded eraser and like I said this is really cool to use if you don't want to mess around with all the eraser poop. <laughs> but the bad thing about this is sometimes because it's kind of soft it's it might, you, might, you can't really get in there sometimes when you uh, really need to erase, you know what I mean? Because this right here is a lot harder, right? So sometimes you can just go in there and really just like go at it. Whereas this you can't. But like I said, what's nice about this is you don't have to deal with all the eraser poop. So hopefully this is a nice little thing you could uh, check out. And um, okay, get back to the normal video now <laughs> so that is pretty much it so hopefully today oh gosh I think I've like mumbled and babbled so much I'm so sorry I know I over I talk too much a lot of times but hopefully <laughs> I've helped you figure out like what you could use the materials you could try out and like I said if you need help getting uh, checking with these out just check my descriptions below I have some uh, Amazon affiliate links just um, just buy what is what you can afford. Uh, to me, if you're not um, needing to create anything that needs to be sold or professional or anything like that, I just feel like it really doesn't matter. <laughs> What's more, most important like for markers is finding the right color. That is just the most frustrating thing. So I'm always just looking for whatever I can find to find the right color and I really don't care what I use, right? It's just it's the color that's the most important. and um, other than that, I like I said, I really hoped I helped you 
um, get a better sense of the materials I use, what I use, and like the sketch pad. I really love this. I always carry it with me wherever I go. <laughs> um, I kind of hook a pencil over here to it. And um, it's just it's just a nice and handy. And like I said, it doesn't have to be this brand. It's just the size is really nice for what I do. And um, that's pretty much it. I Like I said, I really hope that you get a better sense of um, the things I use and I really hope this helps you. And thank you once again, cuties, for all your support over the years. And I really hope this video that took me forever to make helps you <laughs> and inspires you. Thanks so much for watching. And if, you, if I helped you, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.